गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एडप्टिव फिजिकल एजुकेशन एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्रोमोटिंग एडप्टिव फिजिकल एजुकेशन एडप्टिव फिजिकल एजुकेशन एडप्टिव मीन्स टू एडजस्ट और टू मोडिफाई सो एडप्टिव फिजिकल एजुकेशन मीन्स एडजस्टिंग और मोडिफाइंग द फिजिकल एजुकेशन प्रोग्राम फॉर चिल्ड्रन विथ स्पेशल नीड्स एंड देर आर वेरियस organizations that promote adaptive physical educations like special olympic bharat paralympic deaf olympic etc these are the organizations which promote uh, which promote physical educations for children with special needs physical education physical education is a education for normal people for overall development of an individuals and adaptive physical education is adjusting the physical education program for the deaf olympic and this adaptive physical education contain all the component as uh, as the physical um, as physical education concept of inclusions inclusions can be defined as the act or the state of being part of something larger means means including including the something or someone in uh, in a part of uh, in a part of uh, large group list etc means kisi bhi chote cheez ko ek large group mein uh, large group mein uh, part of large group means usko uh, chote se group ko large being a part of something large group is known as inclusions including a something uh, something or someone as a part of something large group or list in social in social context inclusion means every person has the possibility to participate fully and equally in uh, in social process right from the right from the beginning and regardless of individual skill uh, ethnics or social organics sex or age everyone has the right to participate in a large group um by valuing and respecting the human diversity the practice of inclusions foster a sense of community and be- uh, belongingness belonging enabling all people to participate in every area of life means to include it to include this in a large group inclusions in education inclusions in educations it's an approach to educating the student uh, student with special education needs needs means educating the disabled person with a special persons okay educating educating both inclusion in educations means educating the both disables uh, disables uh, disables and non disabled students under the same roof this inclusions in educations promote full personal academic and professional development of all the uh, run, uh, learners respective of race class uh, color gender disability sexual preference learning styles and language if the disables if the disabled persons and the uh, and the uh, if the uh, disabled and non disabled uh, persons under the same roof it helps in promoting the this academic uh, academic and professional development of all the learners under under the inclusions models student with special need spend spend most or all of their time with non special needs of the student therefore this inclusions reject the use of special school or classroom to separate student with disability from student without disability simple um inclusions in educations mean educating both the student disabled and non disabled under the same roof this inclusions in education reject the use of special needs 
special special school or classroom for uh, disabled person to separate the student with disability from the student without disability inclusions inclusions uh, is about inclusion is about child right to participate and the school duty is to accept the child what are the needs need of inclusions needs of inclusions the first is mold the value of next uh, generations of children if the non disabled student if there is a um, if non disabled student and disabled students uh, learn under the same roof it mold the value of next generation student see the person first and the disability second student uh, student learn the empathy means they understand and uh, understand and to value the diversity they understand each others therefore they see the person first and then disability second provide opportunity for friendship if there is a, if if both the disabled and non disabled student are educated under same roof then it will uh, provide close relationship um then it will pro, it will develop friendship uh, friendship between them because friendship require close relationship close proximately and common experience so keeping the children together encourages both objectives student develop comfortable way to interact with each others student with disabled persons interact with a disability student and um, and there will be the friendship between them prepare individual for adult life in uh, prepare individual for adult life in the community today today classmate or tomorrow employee community life is not divided into typical community or or special community maintains of typical family structures of life um of the life sibling can be educated together at the same roof parents are not stress between the two or more setting cultivate an enriched learning environment additional resource additional resource cultivate an enriched learning environment additional uh, additional resource like therapists special educators etc in the classroom benefit all the children this ad- educational resource are used for disabled persons if both the disabled and non disabled student get education under the same roof then this this therapeutics and special educator systems also benefit the children with non disabled diverse teaching strategies and common use of modifications and adaptions benefit all the student children with disability learn from typically developed peers who can act as a role models making them more likely to develop appropriate social and communication skill and these are the need of inclusions cultivate an enriched learning environment for educating the disabled student we use uh, we use additional resource therefore this additional resource also help the normal children if both are if we give the education under the same roof inclusions inclusions also help to develop self esteem helps to develop self confidence better social skill develop the social skill and improve the communications this disabled persons also get a knowledge about their strength and weakness if if we, we give the educations um education uh, if we give the education 
विडन नॉन डिसेबल पर्सन दिस दिस एबल पर्सन नो अबाउट दिस स्ट्रेंथ एंड वीकनेस एंड ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड परफेक्ट ट्रेनिंग ऑफ रियल लाइफ दे ऑल्सो लर्न टू इंट्रैक्ट डिसेबल पर्सन लर्न टू इंट्रैक्ट विद द अदर्स पीपुल्स डेवलप कॉन्फिडेंस इन हिम्स they learn to communicate uh, develop communication skill etc this are the needs next is role role of various professional for children with special needs what are the role of various professionals like counselors occupational therapists physiotherapists special special um, educators speech therapy etc for children with special needs what are their roles role of counselor school counselor school counselors is a member of the uh, educational teams who provide valuable assets to the students school counselors helps the student um a school counselors help student in all way be it academically its help the student academically socially behaviors or emotionally they help in all way they work in collaborations with the teachers parents and special educator to create a healthy learning environment that make them feel comfortable they also provide specific solution to children with particular problem if the children with special needs have any problems school counselor provide solution to the children with their problems the counselors take a special training to uh, they take a special training in how to helps uh, helps kids solving the problems and queries and taking a um, and making a best decisions they take a special training to handle the uh, problems to handle the problem of the kid uh, kids and making the correct decisions school counselor the job of the school counselors is to take the child problem seriously and and helps to find out the solution school counselors take the problem of the school children and they helps to find the solution they help the student in all way the school counselors want to help your child learn as much as possible it also helps in learning or she can uh, as much as he or she can in the class uh, be uh, be a contributing members of the social community and be a positive influence on the environment this school counselors helps to achieve it develop academic goals develop uh, develop the children with special needs in academic goal developing social goal personal goals and also develop in career development he assists the teaching staff help the teaching staff of the uh, of the school uh, with how to handle with the student and it helps to development this special educators counselors um uh, counselors helps in stress management angers conflict management and helps to develop positive thinking in the student next is role of occupational therapist occupational therapists are the uh, occupational therapists are regulated and healthcare professions who work uh, who work with children in variety of settings including a school occupational therapists help the children with special needs in performing the self care skill like eating dressing bathing etc ex- means doing this um, normal uh, normal life work it helps to develop fine motor skill fine motor means development of uh, development of small bones and muscles development of motor fine motor skill 
there are two type of motor skill motor skill means development of bones and muscles which have to perform we have to which have to do various movement of their life and there are two type of motor skill fine motor skill and gross motor skill gross motor skill means development of big muscles which have to do running walking etc and fine motor skill means development of small small bones and muscles which help them in writing drawing uh, catching etc means to do small work this occupational therapies occupational therapies help the children as the children grow and develop they learn to do many things like taking care of themselves managing their social work playing sports or developing a luscious interest means um doing their um, free free times but some children have problems have have some problems then uh, then is typical for them uh, for the uh, this some children have problems in in these things in doing their daily routines work activity due to the uh, when the children have difficulty with this daily activity this is due to the uh, fine motors problem fine motor development problems so it is hard to fully participate in in these types uh, in the things they need to do want to do or are expected to do at a home this occupational therapist uh, occupational therapist helps in developing the fine motor skill so that they can succeed uh, with doing their daily uh, routine work like printing drawing cutting etc and also helps in developing pushes skipping running catching etc occupational therapies help the teachers and parents to better understand better understand how these children succeed with their everyday activity <clears throat> the occupational therapists will provide educations and resources to teachers and parents about how how children typically develop motor skills and how to promote this development in the classroom and the homes means this occupational therapies teach the teachers and parents to develop uh, to develop um, motor skills at a classroom as well as home occupational therapies will help the teachers learn to recognize and help the children who may have motor skill problems which make uh, which make them difficulty in doing his daily activity work and the goal of occupational therapies is to improve improve the child so that they can participate and perform uh, their daily activities easily and promote overall development overall development of of a child role of physiotherapists physiotherapists is an allied healthcare profession it is a physiotherapist it's a healthcare professions which promote the health and well-being of all its aim at its aim to help maximize movement and functions when someone is affected by injury illness development delay or others disability means physiotherapist physiotherapist is a healthcare a uh, professions when a person uh, when a person is affected by any injury illness developmental delay or other type of disability this physiology uh, this physiotherapist helps in uh, helps to maximize the movement and functioning and functioning of their bones physiotherapist a physiotherapist helps in gross motor skill development gross motor skill development means development of their bones muscles so that they can perform functions 
easily. His role is to manage persons with movement disorder, those who have disorders or disability. He helps to manage with proper movement. The aim of physiotherapists is to concentrate the problem that affect muscles, bones, circulations, to evaluate the movement and functions, balancing the postures, fatigue labors, pain tolerance, etc. Treatment Physiotherapist is concerned with the gross motor skill and mobility of a child. This physiotherapist is mainly work in development of gross motor skill means development of big muscles uh, is mainly related to big muscles and the mobility means freely movement of the bones mm -hmm. due to injury there is problems in the um, in the bones etc and physiotherapist helps in proper functioning of the bones muscle etc Role of Physical Education Teachers Physical Education Teachers, commonly known as Physical Training Instructors or Physical Education Teachers. These Physical Education Teachers are responsible for educating the primary and secondary school student in physical activity and psychological learning. It's helped the student to improve, improve the physical fitness eye and hand and eye coordinations, developing the flexibility, improving the muscular strength, cardiovascular efficiency, etc. The physical education class was once little more than an organized. Recent development has stressed that physical education curriculum toward the goals of overall wellness, physical education teachers help in overall development of a child and teach how to uh, incorporate health and nutrition topic in their class. When planning, when planning the course of outline, the physical education teachers include sports and game and physical fitness technique in their syllabus. Second, after creating a lesson plan, a physical education teacher's responsibility is to motivate students to participate in physical activity. Second is, third step is to evaluate the student performance, attitude and the level of fitness. Fourth is, physical education program can do great deeds to improve the lifestyle of children with special needs. They can also increase they can also increase in gross motor skill means development of gross motor skills helps to control obesity improve self esteem means improve confidence develop social skill encourage and active lifestyles and maintain motivations in various areas these are the work of physical education teachers Physical education teachers, first its responsibility is educating the primary and secondary school student, uh, student. and physical education teachers helps in improving the strength, endurance, flexibility, improve the, um, helps to um, muscular strength, cardiovascular efficiency, etc. of the student. They Physical education teachers, when planning about the course, they include the physical, they include the game and sports in their um, in their uh, syllabus. And after uh, after creating a lesson plan, they motivate the student to participate in a game, and then elevate uh, elevate elev uh, elevate the student performance, attitude, and levels of physical fitness. And physical education program helps to improve the lifestyle of our children.
lifestyle of the children with special needs. If the children with special needs participate in physical activity, it's help in proper growth and development of the child. It's improve the it's improve the gross motor skill. It's also help to control their obesity means overweight. Improve self esteem means develop confidence in them. Develop social skill so that they can adjust in the society live easily with the society encourage active lifestyles and maintain motivations motivate them in various area role of speech therapies speech therapies speech means speech and language therapy is concerned with the identifications assessment and support of speech language communications Swellings need of the children's young peoples and adult. Speech, speech therapies. Uh, they work closely with parents. Uh, speech therapies. Uh, they work closely with the parents, kids, and others professions such as teachers, nurses, occupational therapists, and doctors. Speech and language therapies play their role in supporting you and your pupil with special language and communication needs. Speech therapies helps in treatment for communication disability. It helps in treatment those who have communication disability. It helps and provide training to overcome uh, overcome fluency disorders means those who have communication problems like stoppage. At the time of um, speaking, the stoppage, barba ruk jana, or repeating repetitions of same things, etc. It helps in treatment of this type of communications problem. Special educators. Special educators' main role of the special education teacher is to provide instructions and support which facilitate the participation of student with disability in the regular classroom the special education teachers serve as case managers and be responsible for the development implement and evaluations of students special educators assist help the student with special needs it helps the student with special needs in the area of physical skill, learning, communication problems, improve, improving their social and emotional skills. His main responsibility, the main responsibility of special educators is to help the student who have cognitive disability, means who have, uh, who have learning dis uh, disability, who is not able to learn properly, not able to store, process or produce the information. Mainly those who have, those students who has cognitive disability. They provide, special educators provide the necessary information to the classroom teachers prior to the children entering the general education classroom so that they can easily, uh, so that they can easily uh, handle the student with disability, medical concerns and equipment operations, etc. Special educators also provide individualized educational program so as to understand the problems of the students and to solve their problems. Indi give individualized education program. It it's helped to develop the IQ levels of the student. Special educators collaborate with the general education teachers in adapting the curriculum, providing appropriate modification in education, ensuring the implementations or modifications, and uh, assessing overall progress of the child. Special educators develop schedules and supervise the plan of the para educators these are the role duty of the special educators for better understanding for better development of their cognitive disability
these are the role of various role of uh, various professional for children with special needs children with special needs role of counselors uh, role of occupational therapists role of counselor counselor means to help the children with special children with special needs in solving their problems solving their problems uh, queries etc occupational therapies means children who have difficulty in doing his daily routine work they helps and they helps um, they helps uh, to promote independent overall development helps to monitor problems and making which makes some daily activities a challenge of learners physiotherapies means um, the pro the persons who has problem who has injury illness or developmental delay or other disability they helps to maximize their their movement and functioning maximize movement of their bones muscle etc physical education teachers for speech therapies speech therapist means help those children who have problem in communications problem language language and communications problems and speech educators this provide um, provide um, the main role of special education teacher is to provide instruction and support which facilitate the participation of student in regular regular uh, in in regular classroom this are the role we have complete our fourth fourth chapters physical educations and sports for children with special needs